welcome to another video. Today I have a fairly unboxing for you and I'm super excited for this one because the theme for August was mutinous pirates and I like me some pirates so I'm pumped for this. Without further ado I just want to get into it because I'm excited. I've already cut the tape so let's just get on with it. If you don't know what Fairy Loot is, I will leave the link to them down below. It's a monthly bookish subscription box where a box comes to your house every month and it's got a new release YA fantasy book and some bookish items. Ta-da! First things first is the art card and then ta-da! Spoilers! <laughs> right, so the art card is beautiful as always. I always say I love the Fairy Loot artist and I still do. Nothing's changed there. I think the style is beautiful. And then on the back we have the theme and all of the items, but obviously I'm not going to look at that just yet because I do not want to spoil myself. Okay, so blindly diving in. First thing is this. This looks like a banner of some sort. I think it is. Ta-da! When people say impossible, they usually mean improbable. Is that how you spell usually? That's not how you spell usually. Interesting. <laughs> pretty though. <laughs> I feel like it definitely needs ironing after being rolled up, but yes, very pretty. Um, I'm almost certain that is a Lee Bardugo quote, but I don't know. Yes, this is a quote from Nikolai from Shadow and Bone, which I haven't read and honestly don't know if I intend on reading, but this is pretty and I can appreciate it. Next up we have this little candle and this is Elian, Prince of Midas, Midas, uh, Sea Mist and Musk. Oh, it's real glittery. Like, can you see the glitter on there? Really glittery. And very fresh, but Sea Mist and Musk, I would expect fresh. So this is based on the prince from To Kill a Kingdom, I started reading To Kill a Kingdom, got seven chapters in, stopped reading it. Might try again, I don't know. But this smells very fresh and lovely, so I will appreciate and burn that, um, perhaps with the hazard of the glitter. This is pretty, it's a pretty pouch. What is it? <laughs> Why is the rum always gone <laughs> on a water bottle? I like this. I was just thinking the other day, actually, that I need a water bottle as well, so this is perfect. Very piratey. I approve. And that's a very decent size. Is this a Fairy Loot exclusive? Probably. And by that I meant made by Fairy Loot. Um, exclusive, why is the rum gone water bottle brought to you by KDP Letters? Obviously inspired by Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. I like this a lot. Next up is a magnet that says, oh, the ridiculous things one has to do when one is a pirate. That is from Daughter of the Pirate King, which I've actually read and recognised that quote. Very nice. Um, it will inevitably go on the fridge. Next up is this, which is a cherry blossom sugar scrub soap. And this is botanical magic, use disillusion of internal organs. What? I'm very confused by this. Is that a reference to something? Um, sweet peat sugar scrub soap inspired by a magical botanic plant in our book of the month. Disclaimer, will not dissolve your inner or external organs. You'll understand what we mean when you read the book. Okay, that makes me excited for the book if there's gonna be the dissolving of organs. <laughs> Um, but also, soap, yay! Sugar scrub soap too. Shall I smell it? If I can get into it, that'd be good. Ooh! Oh, that smells good. Oh, yes, I look forward to that. Oh, it's a very strange consistency. I like it. I will use that and probably enjoy it. Next up, we have a wax seal! That's so cool! Pirate Wax Seal. Awesome! Pirate Wax Seal brought to you by Fairy Loot. I thought it would be because it's the Fairy Loot font on it. I need to look at it. Oh my god, is it a skull and crossbones? I think it's a skull and crossbones. That would make sense for a pirate wax seal though, wouldn't it? And it has the wax as well. Yeah, it's a little skull and crossbones. Hold on, let me show you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See it? How cool. I like that. Okay, we then have a chapter sampler for King of Scars. Honestly, I don't care about that. And a promotional flyer thing for the beautiful classic editions of classic books. Lovely. That then leads us on to the book of the month. And I'm, oh, 
It's got green sprayed edges. I remember them saying it would have green sprayed edges, actually. Um, so far, I'm impressed with this. I like the soap. I like the candle. I love the bottle. The flag's cool and the wax seal's cool. So this box has a big thumbs up from me alone without the book. So here we go. Ta-da! Ah! These Rubber Waves by Sarah Rush. I wanted this. This box couldn't have got any better. This cover is stunning and it's got green edges like I'm all for that and I actually have seen this book and wanted this book in my possession and now I have this book in my possession. A revolutionary, a raider, a prince will fight for their countries, their families themselves or face a war that could destroy the world as they know it. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into what it's about, all I know is it's Sarah Rush so I wanted to read it anyway because I loved Snow Like Ashes, despite the fact that I never continue with that series, but I want to. So I know that I like her writing, and I know that there's some sort of pirate and like raiding etc in this, and from that little bit there you can get the gist, you know, a raider, a prince, a revolutionary fighting for their countries to prevent a war etc. So yeah, I am all for this, yay. As always in the pouch we have got the bookmark with the art for the month. I love these, I say it all the time, I'm not going to say it again. We then have the Fairy Loot Reading Buddy code thing and this time mine is MYBUDDY000631. Then we have a little postcard, no not postcard but like leaflet I suppose, um, with plants apparently. Then the letter from the author which is on the back of a print. I like that, that's a very pretty print and if that's from the book I am even more excited for the book now. And with the burning of internal organs as well. Ah. Um, and then the fairy scoop for the month. Um, so in here we have an interview with the author, recommendations and then next month we have star-crossed swoons. I am chuffed with this. I have liked everything, there is nothing that I do not like here and I'm super excited for the book, so 10 out of 10. I was excited by a pirate theme anyway, so this really could not have got any better. But yeah, that's that. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your favourite item from the piratey box was, if you're into pirates as much as I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. Give us a thumbs up if you fancy it, chat to me down below, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!